Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be doing some Hypixel Bed Wars commentary. So, um, I'm going to head over and start solos. By the way, the video is pre-recorded, and I'm doing this commentary afterwards, so that I'm not screaming into the mic, and so it's more pleasant. And I have the same view as you do. Um, so I'm going to start, I'm going to start trying to gather iron and gold. To try to build a bed defense, and then I'm going to end up trying to get weapons, and then trying to survive and kill the other teams. So you see, I buy a bunch of wool, which is actually, I don't think it's what I'm going to use for my bed defense. Um, so I'm trying to look around, try to find the blocks, and I found endstone. So what I'm going to try to do is cover my bed in endstone instead of wool normally my start off of the game is to buy um wool so that's why i automatically ran and bought wool so now what i'm doing is i'm over at my bed i'm placing the end stone and there's a guy at my base and obviously i can't fight back very well so, um, I end up dying, and he hasn't destroyed my bed yet because it's endstone, and he's looting my base. So, I'm trying to kill him, and then he runs over to my base, and he ends up failing at breaking my bed, but then he does kill me. And at this point, he's really low, but then my bed is gone. So, if he comes after me, I'm going to be dead for good because my bed's gone. And he has way better stuff than me. So he ends up hiding right there, which I knew he was there. And then he jumps out at me and ends up finishing me off. So we're going to go to the next game. And, of course, in the beginning of this game, I say good luck, have fun at some point. Because don't be toxic. I think I do. Yeah. Uh, there we go. And here we go. So I kind of do the same thing, except this time I'm pretty sure instead of getting wool, I'm actually going to get endstone. Because I ended up wasting 20 uh, iron on uh, wool. And it's better to buy endstone and not waste that on wool so here you go you see me starting off with my base and it's going slow nothing's really happening but I keep buying more endstone my goal is to try to make the base as beefy as possible and there actually is an easy way to make these types of bases by like adding a second layer but I'm not doing it the easy way for some reason and so you need, so you see, I need two more endstone to complete the second layer of the pyramid. And so that's what I do. I buy more endstone. I found that a good defense is just spamming endstone and obsidian everywhere. And so now I just start trying to make a wall with the endstone. So you see, I've got a iron sword which is nice because in the previous one the previous match I had issues with only having a wooden sword so at this point I'm gonna start trying to bridge over to yellow in a second well actually what I'm gonna do is try to buy a fireball and then I'm gonna try to throw it at uh, the yellow bed not knowing that beds don't get destroyed by the fireballs so I end up throwing it, and it's a complete waste of 40 iron. You can see, I just launched it. Nice water particles, and it fails. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bridge over, and right now I'm looking to see if I see their name tags. So I'm going to try to bridge onto the top. I'm still bridging. Bridging pretty slow. I'm not the best at building. Well, bridging. I can build things, but I can't bridge. And then I see that the yellow team has been eliminated. 
and so I don't really have a point in going there anymore, but what I'm going to do is just try to go get any materials that may be there. Because generally it would give you a head start when you just take their materials. So that's what I'm aiming for. So I've reached their base and I'm trying to stay cautious. But nobody's here. And yellow's not alive. So I'm going to take their iron, and it's about 48 iron, which is nice. And I get a lot of gold as well. So what I'm doing is buying armor. So I've got my iron armor, and I'm now going back towards my base. So running across my bridge, back at my base. And I'm going to look in the spawners and see what I get. And now I'm going to go in the quick buy and try. I don't know. So now I'm going to try to bridge over to emeralds. But I do need more wool because I only have three. And at this point there's only five teams left. And they all have their bed except blue. So I'm bridging over to emeralds. I reached the first island pretty quickly. And now I'm going to end up going to the second island. It's really close. Just playing it safe. And now I'm going to the third island, which actually has the emeralds on it. And at this point, I'm debating going get diamonds because they're pretty close nearby, as you can probably see on the left of my screen. And then I'm looking at blue, because they've just been eliminated. Now there's four teams left, and we all have our beds. So I'm kind of collecting emeralds, and I've got three emeralds, and I'm not going to stay to get a fourth, because waiting there for 60 seconds is quite a while. So I'm going to end up running back across my bridge, and then go and get diamonds. And I'm getting diamonds in hope that maybe I can upgrade my um, forge. Or maybe I can get some better items that can help me. Because last time I struggled with not having good weapons. And right now I'm trying to place a bunch of wool to try to block off someone. So I'm running back to my base, collecting materials. And then you can see that I buy um, Iron Forge, which is pretty good. I get 50% more resources. And at this point now, there's only three teams left. Green, which is me, Aqua, and Gray. And we all have our beds. And so now at this point in the game, Diamond Generators are uploaded upgraded to level two and then i see that an invis guy just destroyed my bed and then he knocks me off and that's it now it's white versus gray and now i'm just completely rage quitting solos and i'm trying duos well doubles because i am horrible at bed wars so i'm just going see if I can get a good teammate and maybe do better and so I start off this game kind of with the same approach of putting endstone all over my base because I'm my teammate and so my approach this time is just to try to put endstone on my base and I want to stay at the base and protect the bed to make sure that nobody destroys the bed. Um, one of the things, one of the reasons that my PvP is so bad in this video is because I was just on my laptop. I didn't have my mouse or my keyboard. So, it's a bit harder to play when you just have a trackpad. But, so at this point, 
Diamond 2 is in 5 minutes, and all the teams are still alive, and they all have our beds. And so I'm slowly collecting Endstone, and I'm checking my FPS, because it says 30 at the top, and it was odd to me. But it was just my computer being limited, because it wasn't plugged in. And it's just a setting to make the computer not as loud. So I'm just sitting here collecting endstone. We're collecting iron to get endstone. And then I'm going to end up making a base. And I'm getting water. And you might not know why. But when you're in water, you mine slower. And endstone is already slow to mine. So getting endstone just makes it harder for the enemy to get in the base. So I finish the second layer of the pyramid and I start making this outline and you may not know why but it's so that the water doesn't flow out of the outline because when you have water flowing everywhere it's pretty annoying and it's really it doesn't help your team and it can promote placing blocks in the water and there's just no reason. So you just place the outline because the water won't go out of it. So you can see I placed the first one, but you do need two water buckets. And you might have been able to see in that last time I was there, the water doesn't go out of there. And you're also slowed in water, which is a benefit. If you stand outside of the water and you're mining, it is the normal speed. But if you're standing in the water and mining, it is definitely slower. So at this point, I'm just sitting here, and my teammate's sitting here. The only people who don't have their bed is Gray. And Diamond 2 is in three minutes. So I'm just getting blocks, getting endstone. My plan is to try to build, like, a second shell around the water. So I buy some wool, and that's so that it'll allow me to place the end stone easier on this next level, but it ends up also providing some protection on the shell, because when you're mining end stone versus mining through wool, then end stone is more of a issue. It doesn't take as long, but it may be... The difference between seeing someone mining your base and not seeing someone mining your base because you just happen to not run by at the right time. But if it takes longer than you run by, then you're like, oh, this guy's at my base, so I should probably fight him. And so this base is pretty chunky already, but I'm going to try to complete the second dome, and then my plan is to put water all over it and the problem with this is that I did not build a second outline and I'm not going to build a second outline so the water is all over the place and it's really annoying to me you may see later when the guy is chasing me at our base and I end up getting stuck in the water because it takes so long to get through it so I'm trying to talk to my teammate at this point but I don't think they're reading chat So I'm just sitting here accumulating iron. So I bought myself an iron sword and I'm getting some wool and endstone so that maybe I can complete this outer shell. And I think it ends up being enough, but we'll just have to wait and see. So I'm just placing the wool. Whoop, I misplaced the wool. And it's the perfect amount of wool, but I'm going to actually end up having to get some more to finish it off. So you see, I go to the blocks category, buy some end stone and not wool, but I am going to have to go back and buy wool to finish it off. At this moment in time, it's really close to being finished. 
but I do have to buy the final wool placed end stone and I also have to put the water down and I don't have enough gold for that yet so I'm gonna have to sit there for a second so as you can see you can kind of see in the base defense it looks kind of like a pain to break all that and yeah it is definitely a pain to break through that but people can still break through it and they destroy your bed so still gray is the only defeated team they're completely gone but it looks like green and yellow are fighting So I'm going over to this tab and I'm looking at different things that I could buy that may help and I start buying blast proof glass and I'm going to try to build a wall and the wall is just so that when someone tries to shoot a fireball at our base the wall stops them and either they throw it at the glass and the glass stops them or they don't throw it at the glass and it doesn't. Or they don't throw it at the glass and it's just because the glass is there. So it ends up protecting our base either way. But I have to finish it all the way around. It doesn't have the same effect if I don't finish it. But as you can see here, I'm starting to put the water on top to try to finish it off. And I need two more gold ingots to finish the water base. So... Once I get this third piece of gold, and I keep thinking that it's like, right now, and then I wait like three seconds, and I'm like, ready, it's now, and it's not now, so it's, yep, there we go, got it. Okay, so now I get the water bucket, and we're going to place this on the other half to complete the base part of the base, and you see at this point, red is coming, and they see that I'm getting on the bridge, and they just... I try to attack them, and yet again, I fail. But what ended up happening is we both killed each other, which is a setback for me, but it's also a setback for them. So I'd rather have that happen than me just die. And as you can see, it's really a pain to go through this water. I'm just kind of like swimming, and it's slower than running and jumping. So as you can see, I'm waiting to get iron and gold, trying to build back up the stuff that I lost when I died, because it's great if I get back armor and tools, but I end up not having enough iron or gold to get any type of armor, and now I've accumulated enough um, iron to get chainmail armor. And so that should protect me for a little bit, should help protect me, not make me invincible, but it helps. So now the yellow team and the gray team are both fully eliminated. And yeah, every other team has their bed and has their team members. So at this point, what I'm going to try to do is put water on the bridge. So after seven blocks, or water will flow eight blocks. If you do seven blocks and then make it go down on that seventh block, then the water will flow down it and go for seven more blocks. So what I'm trying to do is make a bridge, and then I get surprise attacked. And what I do is try to run away. I place down my water. If I ended up not being fast enough and not being able to kill him because of the water. I couldn't escape because of the water. So I'm back. I'm chasing the guy, and he ends up trying to put himself in the water. But he almost knocks me off, but thanks to the water, I'm surviving. And then my teammate is coming to help me, 
And I'm kind of scared at this point because I'm really low. But he's trying to break our bed, and me and my teammate end up killing him. So I get 36 iron and 3 gold, which is pretty nice because I just died to him. So I can at least get, like, blocks back and stuff like that. I can get um, armor, but I guess I'm just not buying armor now. So what I try to do is just run around and place endstone at vulnerable points. I really just spam endstone all over the place. I'm just running and jumping with endstone. And there's really no point to doing this, but it it's just there. So I've got all my endstone placed. Teammates at my base. And I just go to the shop trying to get armor or, yeah, armor swords. And I end up getting a sword because I don't have enough for iron. I'm five short, so I just buy the sword anyway. And now I'm trying to buy an axe, but I don't have enough materials to get any axe better than the normal wooden axe. So I'm running over... And I see someone's name tag, and then I see the giant red text that says, Base Destroyed, and it's still the same guy as before. And I end up getting launched off the side by um, a fireball. So, I'm going to return to the lobby now because I don't have a bed and I'm not going to go back. So... Well, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And, uh, yeah. So, bye.